Thanks for checking out another tutorial, and in this one, I'll be showing you how to how I create um, a city background. And I use mainly Blender to render it out. And in this painting, I use it extensively to do the entire background, just because pr perspective is solved and it's in the background, so it's not super important, but it still has like a cool kind of like sci-fi look. If you're interested in the working files, you can check it out on my Patreon, and that's where I have the Photoshop and a bunch of other work in progress shots posted. I'll also be posting some of the resources in this tutorial up there. So first you make a displacement map and this is roughly how the displacement map should look like. And to make one, you create a new texture, uh, a new file. I made mine at 496 by 496, so 4K by 4K. And first I fill it with like a gray color. And then I create a square brush or you could even just use the marquee selection and just marquee like a ton of shapes and then just fill in the shapes and just drag it around and maybe yeah just like drag it around to create some texture throughout the canvas and you can even select certain ones here and there and change the opacity of them or change the the darkness of it and now I'm just creating more just kind of getting this grid texture and you can use filter other offset and offset it by 2048 by 2048 to create a seamless tiling texture so I do a lot of 3d as well so there's like some 3d techniques that I'm not use so once you get like a good medium gray you just slowly add a little bit more layers to towards it that's a little bit lighter so here I'm going to add a little brighter sort of value and then maybe change this one to be a tiny bit brighter just to get some variation because the height the gray value will determine the height of the of the buildings and you want to get as many very as much variation in there as possible when you're done creating your texture, it should look something like this. You can see that there's different size squares because there's it will represent different size buildings. And there's also a lot of variation of values. And I kept most of the white squares towards the center. And once you're done with this, just hit save, save as, and save it in a location that you're familiar with. Hopefully you have Blender installed. Um, you could download Blender at blender.org. And once you download it, just load it up. And I'm gonna be using all the default tools in Blender so there's no fancy plugin or whatnot. So once you have Blender, uh, create a new file and I'm going to start with a plane. So under add, you go into mesh plane. And now I'm going to subdivide this plane a few times. So go into the sub object mode, go into edge and then hit subdivide and just repeat that action a few times until you get maybe a plane that's roughly this dense. And now go into the modifier of this plane and then add another subdivisional surface. And maybe increase it by like to three or four, depending on how strong your computer is. Um, now we're going to add the displace modifier, and this is what's going to drive your buildings to look like buildings. Um, also keep the subdivisional surface. I keep it at simple so that it doesn't round out the corners. So in the displace modifier, you can just hit new and it'll create a new blank texture and you can name it city displace and we'll call 01 just to be organized. And if you click on this button, it'll jump straight into the texture, which is also this tab. You can click on it on the bottom as well. Um, hit open, oh, where'd it go? Hit open and navigate to your file and mine was called displace 04. So click there and it should start displacing and you can see how those are the, the pure white buildings. So it's a little bit high. We can, let's just lower it a little bit. Go into your strength, maybe set it to like 0.3 and that should be good. So you can preview it with your EV render and that is essentially how you make the city. So here I have the city pieces that I duplicated and scaled into different sizes. I also added some rectangles just so that they would have some larger buildings uh, to contrast small buildings to make small buildings look smaller. And now 
I'm not gonna go too in depth of shader editing, but I will just apply a simple material to the, all the geo here. And we'll just name this uh, city dark material. And we will change the base color to be a relatively dark material, like this color right here. And we will apply it to all of the geometry. So click on each geometry and under material, uh, city dark material. Once you're done applying all the materials to the objects, your scene should look something like this. And now it's time to render. So go into view, camera, active camera. And now go into view, navigation, and walk navigation. And now you could move your camera around. And with WSD, you could fly around and your mouse will rotate. And now you can pick a good composition for you to paint over. So I want to pick this one right here, which is what it started out as. Um, I'm going to go back into this texture mode. And now we'll go into our render settings and change it from EV to cycles. And now hit render and your image should now be rendering. Once your image is done rendering, go into image, save as, and pick a location where you know where it is. Set it to RGB, set the compression to zero, and save as image. And of course, name it. So with Photoshop open, you can start using it as a template or a guide for you to paint. So if you, you could, you could render a foreground if you want, or you could paint a new foreground in there. So I'll just paint a foreground that's a little bit darker. It will be easier if, of course, you render the foreground as well, but you already have a background already created. And it's pretty easy to add some more detail to it. You can do it in 3D, but it's a little bit more complex. But So I wanted to keep the story relatively simple. So to add some like lights to the buildings, I'm going to be using a texture like this and I found this one at textures.com and what you could do is just set it to be screen and change the levels a little bit so that it's a little bit you only get the lights coming through and then I'm going to rasterize this image and essentially that's kind of it you could kind of see it does a lot of the work already you just need to delete parts that don't make a lot of sense there might be certain areas where you want to change the perspective of the image just so that it matches the perspective of the buildings that you generate in 3D. So this is the easy way, but it's a little bit more time consuming of uh, painting a city. You can do this all in 3D, but this way is a little bit easier to understand and it doesn't require a lot of like tricks and or whatnot. And you can just like create kind of depth if you want to with new layers and maybe adding a little bit of that's too bright maybe adding a little bit of fog just to show some depth in 3d you can also render out more colors as well if you want to just to give the city more character but in this render it's relatively monochromatic um, and in foreground, you can start painting in a character if you want, or whatever elements you like. And you can just start duplicating these lights, or find a different image with lights that you like. And just paste it there, change the perspective it needs to, but it's just there to add some texture. And that's essentially how you would use 3D to help you create a city backdrop.